Welcome to Excel with Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to retain leading zeros when you type in something like a telephone number or an account number. Now, by default, if I type in a number with the leading zero, then Excel automatically gets rid of that zero. And that's because numbers can't start with a zero. Now, if you're in Excel 365, there is a way around this that will permanently solve this problem. Go to File and then down to Options at the bottom left of the screen. Then go to Data, and you'll see a section called Automatic Data Conversion. The setting that you're interested in is this one here, Remove Leading Zeros and Convert to a Number. So, that is, by default, ticked. But if you untick it and then click on OK, Excel will now stop getting rid of your leading zeros. Now, the only thing is it does show a little warning triangle top left of the cell. Now to get rid of that, just click in the cell, go to this orange warning triangle, and then ignore the error. Now, if you don't have Excel 365, another method would be to prefix your telephone number or account number, whatever it is, with an apostrophe, then type in your leading zero, and then the number. And you'll see that Excel will store the value as a text value. I can tell that's the case because it's on the left of the cell and I keep that leading zero. Another thing you could do, and you would do this before you enter any of your telephone numbers or customer numbers, is select the cells and apply the text format to those cells. Excel now knows these cells are going to contain text values. Text values can start with a zero. Don't need an apostrophe, just press enter, and it stores the value as text and get rid of both of these green triangles by selecting both cells, going to my little yellow warning triangle, and ignoring the error. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully, that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.